What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out top 10 Jim Ross greatest one-liners by none other than Wrestling Flashback, man. Um, appreciate all the love and support. Now I'm filming this on Tuesday morning. So for those who are wondering what happened uh, for the Monday night uh, Raw live stream and reaction, I wasn't able to film it. I was taking care of some some personal stuff so that's why i didn't i had it set up but i had to take it down because i wasn't going to be able to record at that time but i should be able to do the live streaming reactions for AEW this wednesday and definitely this friday on smackdown uh, i did watch a few of the stuff that happened on raw so for the most part i'm kind of caught up so sorry about that y'all if if you don't see it live usually it means something happened i wasn't able to either get home in time or i had to take care of some personal stuff so sorry about that but best believe um there will be some more live stream reactions later on this week but we gotta check this out man it's jim ross bro Jim Ross is one of the greatest commentary uh, commentators of all time. So I'm looking forward to checking out this video. Appreciate all the love and support, man. Let's do this now. As the voice of wrestling, the legendary Jim Ross has had countless iconic calls down the years. You're probably Max. replaying them in your head right now. Just goosebump inducing, just goosebump inducing moment. What did we just see? And that's no surprise given how good old JR provided the lyrics to some of the sport's greatest moments. Mm -hmm. Daddy's got his ass buried and his daddy's cracked. The biggest lips and the biggest ass. <laughs> and throughout his illustrious career, he's had it. his fair share of go-to lines and catchphrases, most mm -hmm. of which fans still remember and recite to this day. So for this video, we're counting down the top 10 Love Jim Ross one-liners. First to some honorable mentions, JR's unique vocabulary gave us some classic one-liners. For example, a wrestler jogging or getting away at a pace that was anything faster than walking usually resulted in JR saying that they were running, running like, like a scalded dog. dog. <laughs> When a match would get truly physical, he would describe it as bowling shoe ugly. And when things got hardcore, he would scream and describe a superstar as being broken in half. But sometimes the action would be a bit too much for him to take, which led to him shouting, Enough is enough. That's enough, god damn it, stop the damn match! And somebody stopped the damn match. Yes! He even tried to get over some unexpected catchphrases, such as Who is your daddy? <laughs> Who's your daddy undertaker? Toe slam! Toe slam! Who's your daddy undertaker? <laughs> Nevertheless, his passion always shined through and made him a joy to listen yeah. to. And now, onto the main list. Number 10, Jezebel. Jezebel. <laughs> when JR called the girl a Jezebel, then you knew she was in trouble. She's a Jezebel with two tongues. What exactly is that or she was a conniving heel that constantly did things Jim didn't like or agree with. That Jezebel has no right to be in a ring. But once they eventually <laughs> got their consequence, JR would feel vindicated. With Stephanie McMahon and Tori being on the receiving end of this insult the oh. most. Oh. And there's Tori, that Jezebel. That Jezebel, I love it. <laughs> Number nine, tougher than a two dollar steak. Mm -hmm. This is the classic tougher than a two dollar steak, let me tell you. One of JR's most self explanatory descriptions <laughs> would be when a wrestler was said to be tougher than a two dollar steak. Man, listen, it's tougher than a two dollar steak. That's, That's an $2. image which is easy to imagine. <laughs> Plus, the line itself has that signature JR charm. He's tougher than a two dollar steak, no doubt about it. Tougher than a two dollar steak. 
while also making for a funny t-shirt. What is yeah. concerning though is that the fact that $2 steaks, or better yet, even $1 steaks actually exist. Tougher than a $2 steak. Mm -hmm. How much, how much is a two dollar steak anyway? <laughs> Number eight, government mule. Being whipped like a government mule was JR's way of saying someone was getting their ass kicked. <laughs> government mule, I love it. Oh my. Usually, the wrestler in question would be taking a one-sided beating. <laughs> this is without question one of Jim's most used and yep. therefore most quotable lines. However, the backstory of the phrase is actually quite interesting, as slaves who were freed would be promised 40 acres of land and mm -hmm. a mule. Although, the quality of the land would typically be quite poor, and the slaves would take out their frustration on the mule that the government had also provided them. A rock getting whipped now like that government mule we talked about. <laughs> the mule the government owns. Number seven, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> yes! JR was such a good announcer that he could make a relatively simple line mean so much. Mm -hmm. There's people in there! <laughs> and this would be the case anytime he said, Don't, don't do, do it. it. Please, man, don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. Family, don't do it. <laughs> this resonated with the viewers since we as fans would usually be thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, don't do it. No! <laughs> the wrestlers, however, pretty much never took Jim's advice. Nope. Don't do that. Damn it. Instead, oh God, opting to go through with the spot, but that's what made the line more impactful, mm -hmm. as it could lead to a greater punchline, and that's one of the things that makes JR such a good commentator. <laughs> because even his setup lines were so effective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number six. Business is about to pick up. Mm -hmm. I like what Jim Ross says. Business, business is about, about to pick, pick up. up. If JR this is bringing back so many memories, man. Up, then you knew that big things were about to go down. Oh, I love business JR, picking bro. Up for the Undertaker. And business is damn sure about to pick up. This line alone would be enough for fans to get hyped about what was to come. Mm -hmm. and boom, business has to it became so iconic that it could easily add to a match or enhance the segment. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the reasons Jim Ross is thought of so highly, as his commentary helped memorable moments become unforgettable. Slobbernaka. Yeah, Slobbernaka, man. Once business had eventually picked up, it usually meant we had a Slobbernaka on our hands. Yes, we did. Oh, I love There's it. Gonna be a to say the very least. The of the year, King. A slobber knocker proved to be the perfect description for a big match that was mm -hmm. to come, or for a great match that had just taken place. Back in Oklahoma, Bobby, we call a match like this a slobber knocker. A slobber knocker? That's right. Because it's going to be physical, smash mouth wrestling. That is I a love it. definitive slobber knocker. Well, that's a damn slobber knocker, isn't it, JR? Oh, Triple God Almighty. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Oh my God! Whenever Jr. said the phrase "God Almighty," mm -hmm. you knew we had just witnessed something epic or shocking. Jim didn't just take the Lord's name in vain, but in true Jr. fashion, he added a little Southern sizzle with his signature Oklahoma yep. accent. Number three, Stone Cold. Yes! Yes! Stay Stone Cold! <laughs> One of JR's all time favorite superstars is, yeah. of course, Stone Cold. Cold. And due to his popularity during the Attitude Era, JR wouldn't hold back, no matter if he was introducing the man. There he is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if he had just won a match. Santino Morella even remarked that JR's reaction to Stone Cold was as if he was having an orgasm. JR is not going to reach the point of orgasm. Oh. <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. Ha 
Oh my Number god. Two, son of a bitch. Yes! Son of a bitch. <laughs> JL would get angry at the heels fairly often. Yep. But when he would say son of a bitch, then you knew he was absolutely <laughs> Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! I don't believe this! Usually this would be aimed at Vince McMahon. Yep. Bill, one sick, perverse son of a bitch. Oh Triple my god, eight. this is great. I am Whoa. reality! Whoa. He's a son of a bitch if you ask me. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, y'all. Get out of here. Oh. So there was a, a, a fly in my room. Now, normally I wouldn't be afraid of a fly, but I've never seen this type of bug or creature. Like, it, it looked definitely alien and foreign, so... I'm leaving all this in for you guys, man. Holy. All right. I took care of the mysterious bug and back to the video. And because fans trusted Ross so much, if he was angry, then we would be too. Facts. Is He's a, a no, no good, lying son, son of a bitch. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so whenever JR uttered the word son of a bitch, it really helped put heat on the heels while also selling the severity of the situation. Tuxlin, the son of a bitch, all the way to hell. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tell me why. Number one, by God. By God. One of JL's most classic catchphrases was always going to include the man upstairs. Why? Unlike God Almighty, JR would use this phrase more frequently. Almost shot. anyone doing a Jim Ross impression will be sure to utter a bad god or two. Mm -hmm. It's also plastered all over some of WWE's mm -hmm. most iconic moments. Yep. Oh my Jesus. Oh. <laughs> my God, my God, my God. Oh, right there. That was an infamous moment, too. <laughs> this is so good. Dale's <laughs> one-liners will go down in history, Facts. and the moments where he provided his most iconic commentary will live oh, forever. Man. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, oh, be sure man, to give it bro. a like. Y'all gotta, I gotta give this video a like. Uh, Y'all go subscribe to the rest of them flashback if you haven't already been subscribed to them. Uh, easily, just I, I don't even know what to say, man. This is just, this is just one of those moments where it's like Jim Ross is the voice of wrestling and he's provided us so many memorable moments in the sense of the commentary to these moments you know it's not the same if jim ross is not going crazy on commentary it doesn't hit the same so i want y'all to comment down below let me know what's your favorite jim ross commentary moment let me know down below man but i appreciate all love and support road to 100k appreciate y'all keeping me see you next one peace